Well, tens of millions of dollars about to disappear from local school budgets, and that means big time cuts are coming. Yeah, you know, last week we told you about layoffs at Middletown City Schools. Today we're taking a deeper dive into what could be on the chopping block right here in Cincinnati. And WLWT News 5's investigative reporter Todd Dykes is live with a look at why COVID relief dollars have an expiration date, and it means a lot of money will be disappearing, Todd. That's the case, Mike and Sheree. That relief cash is called ESSER money. That stands for Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Funds. The dollars came from the federal government to districts like CPS in three waves. But when September gets here, the funding faucet will finally run dry. That we have some decisions to make. The decisions facing Cincinnati Public School Superintendent Ironetta Wright involve a nearly $90 million budget gap. It's a gap created by federal COVID 19 relief cash known as ESSER funds that will soon be going away. I think the one thing that one of the things that ESSER is showing us is just how under undercompensated, underfunded public education is. When districts started shutting down during the early days of the pandemic, federal officials created elementary and secondary school relief funds, or ESSER for short. Districts across the country, including CPS, got tens of millions of dollars to make school buildings less susceptible to outbreaks of COVID and then to help kids get back on track in the classroom. Now, the last batch of that federal relief money has to be spent by September. That's why these decisions are so difficult. It's not as if there was a lot of fluff. You know, this this is really, really important stuff. Last week, we reported on a conversation Wright had with Cincinnati council members. The dialogue focused on spending areas that started to overlap during the pandemic, including CPS's decision to hire more school nurses. Some parents are now worried the extra medical support inside their kids' schools could soon disappear. Um, one of the things that I shared in the conversation last week is that a, a school district will always have a need for nurses because we service students that have a variety of needs. What we're looking at right now is whether or not that same service delivery model would be the same. We pay for um, nurses out of ESSER funds. And so if there is a way for us to recover that, that's really a part of the ask. Now, the ESSER funding situation is not an issue that sprang out of nowhere. School leaders all over have known that the dollars uh, came with an expiration date. And with that in mind, CPS board members, they will be talking about potential cuts during a working session that gets started early Saturday morning. Parents and students can monitor that meeting online. Reporting live tonight outside CPS headquarters, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, thanks for the